Hello, this is Kevin Chaudhary. I'm going to talk about the applications of Vertex. We will uh, do an application of Vertex. Say for example, there are two points A and B and we want to find out what is the longitude where the great circle crosses one particular latitude for the first time, right? Let's do this numerical. So uh, let's take a case where A is uh, say 30 degrees, 12 minutes, uh, and 105 degrees 13 minutes east and B is 44 degrees north and 170 degrees 30 minutes west. So uh, basically the D long if you want to find out different name 44 different names I add it becomes 44 5 7 and 2. 275 degrees 44 minutes west give the name of the final longitude but the D long cannot be more than 180 degrees so subtract from 360 change the name Eighty-four degrees sixteen minutes east is the D long. So every case of a great circle sailing, we make a diagram like this. This is the equator. Initial latitude is, of course, we are going eastwards. That we know by writing V. This D long is eighty-four degrees and sixteen minutes. This is the initial latitude A, and the final latitude is over here. And here's a great circle course between A and B. Now as you know that there would be some vertex latitude which might be even higher than the final latitude and probably the vertex is in between A and B because I told you before if A and B both are in the same hemisphere and AB D long is 90 degrees or more vertex has to be in between and vertex position is you know uh, 90 degrees D long from equator crossing so I suppose Definitely the vertex should be between A and B looking at the diagram, right? Suppose the vertex is over here. So the question says that after A, when will you for the first time cross a latitude of say 35 degrees north? Crossing 35 degrees north. 35 degrees north uh, could be something like this, right? This is the first time that you would be crossing 35 degrees uh, latitude. We want to find out what is the D long to this crossing. This crossing point, let it be X. Okay. Now, in this particular questions which are asked, it is important that we find out first the position of vertex. And from vertex, once we know the position of vertex, from the position of vertex, we find out the details about X. Right. Uh, this is 90 degrees if this point was vertex. So let us say, let us assume that the vertex is before the B, it is between A and B. Before we find out the vertex, it is important that we find out the initial course A. So let's find out initial course maybe by four part formula. I will make a diagram here whereby this co latitude of A is. Uh, 59 degrees 48 minutes and the co-latitude of B is 46 degrees. I want to find out what is the initial course A. Now this becomes outer angle, this becomes inner side, this becomes inner angle and this becomes outer side. Formula same, cot outer side sin inner side is equal to cot outer angle sine inner angle plus cosine inner side cosine inner angle it can be written as sine inner side upon tan outer side is equal to sine inner angle upon tan outer angle plus cos inner side cos inner angle Let's substitute the values sine of inner side sine of uh, 59.8 degrees that is 59 degrees 48 minutes divided by tan 
46 equal to sin 84 degrees 16 minutes upon tan A plus cos 59.8 cos 84 degrees 16 minutes cos inner side cos inner angle let us substitute the values sin 59.8 degrees divided by tan 46 degrees gives me 0.83462 equal to sin 84 degrees 16 minutes upon tan A plus cos 59.8 degrees into cos 84 degrees 16 minutes equal cos 59.8 degrees into cos 84 degrees 16 minutes that is 0 0.05025 uh, let's take this to the left hand side so what I get is 0 0.78437, 78437 equal to sine 84 degree 16 minutes upon tan A. So tan A should be equal to uh, sine 84 degree 16 minutes upon 0 0.78437, 0 0.78437, this is equal to sine 84 degree 16 minutes divided by tan A. So I get the value of A as 51 degrees 45.05 minutes. So that is the initial course. Having found the initial course that is 51 degrees 45.05 minutes, I can think about finding out the position of vertex. How do I find out? I have the internal angle. Considering this triangle APV, I have this angle. And I have this side PA. When you have two parts known in a, a spherical triangle, in a, a, a right angle triangle, this angle being 90, I can find out anything else in that triangle. So what I would like to find out is the longitude of vertex. To find out the longitude of vertex, I must find out the angle extending from the initial meridian till the vertex meridian. This angle I want to find out. right? And after finding out this angle, I also want to find out the co-latitude that is PV so that I have the position of vertex. So this is how the vertex position is found out. Let me shift this diagram this side and on this side I will show you how the calculations will be done. So you have pole here. Uh, this is the initial position A and then V. Initial course 51 degrees 45.05. We have initial position scola at 59 degrees 48 minutes. Now we will deal with that triangle PAV. As I have told you before, for the Napier circle, whatever is 90, write down on top. The neighbors of 90 in PAV will be the neighbor of V is PV and AV. And neighbors of PV are V and P. Neighbors of AV is V and A. And the remaining is PA. We uh, need to find out what is D long to the vertex. Right? So that we are able to find out the longitude of vertex because vertex is so many degrees to the east of the longitude of A. So that way we must find out angle P. This is what we must find out. What we have is PA and what we also have is angle A. So we can see that in the Napier circle all these three parts are grouped together. When all the three parts are grouped together and they are not scattered then we use rule number one. So rule number one is sine of middle part that is 90 minus PA is equal to tan of adjacent 90 minus P into tan of another adjacent 90 minus A. So this becomes cos PA equal to 1 upon tan P tan A. 
what we need to find out is angle P. So tan P is equal to 1 upon cos PA tan A. The values of PA and tan are 59.8 degrees cos of cos and tan 51 degrees 45.05 minutes gives me 57.46 57.46 that means 57 degrees 27.5 57 degrees 27.5 minutes and this is the d long to the east so a longitude of a is 105 degrees 13 minutes east. So from an easterly longitude you are going more east by what amount? 57 degrees 27.5 minutes. Right? This is the D long. So from a longitude that is east already we are going more east so we should add. So the total is 40.5 minutes east. 162 degrees 40.5 minutes east. So that is the final longitude. That is the longitude of vertex. Now we need to find out from the same Napier's circle, we also want to find out what is the PV. Now we know PA, we know A and we have to find out PV. Now we can see that these two parts and the part that is to be found out, they are not together, they are not grouped together, they are scattered. So the rule will be sine of middle part. So sine of PV is equal to cos opposite into cos opposite. So cos of 90 minus PA into cos of 90 minus A. So that is sine PA into sine A. And this is equal to sine PV. So uh, substituting the values sine of PA means sine 59.8 degrees and sine of A means sine uh, 51 degrees 45.05 minutes gives me uh, angle as 42 degrees 44.7 42 degrees 44.7 minutes that is the PV that is the cold attitude of the vertex therefore the vertex will be equal to subtract from 90 so what you get is 47 degrees 15.5 3 47 degrees 15.3 minutes north this is the latitude of vertex and we already have the longitude of vertex as 162 degrees 40.5 so this is the longitude of vertex this is the vertex latitude now from uh, this position from this position of vortex, we can find out practically everything that you need in case of a great circle. Now we want to find out at uh, what longitude will the great circle course cross a uh, parallel of 35 degrees north. So uh, let me draw the parallel of 35 degrees north, which could be like this. So this is a parallel of 35 degrees north. So when this is the parallel of 35 degrees north, I draw a meridian at the crossing. I call this point as X. Now let's look at the triangle PVX. In the triangle PVX, I know what is the co-latitude of V, that is, I know PV. And apart from that, I also know what is the co-latitude of the crossing point, and that is 55 degrees because the latitude is 35, 90 minus 35 is 55. So let's look at this triangle PVX. Now in this triangle PVX, angle V is 90. The neighbors of V in PVX are PV and VX. The neighbors of PV are V and P. Neighbors of VX are V and X. The remaining is PX. This is 90 minus. I intend finding out the value of P, that is a D long from the vertex, D long west from the vertex. And what I know? I know PV, I know PX. So uh, 
the rule will be sine of middle part is equal to tan PV into tan 90 minus PX. Therefore, cos of P, sine 90 minus P is cos P is equal to tan of PV upon tan of PX. Gives me P equal to 49 degrees, 40.4 minutes. Okay, now this angle P is this particular angle. So if I apply this angle P as a D long west from vertex, I will get the longitude of the meridian. So uh, let us write the longitude of vertex being 162 degrees 40.5 minutes east. From this east longitude, I need to go west. So I will have to subtract 49 degrees 40.4. Oh, nice. 10.1 minutes east. 113 degrees uh, 0.1 minutes east that is roughly 113 degrees east is the longitude at which the grid circle will cross a parallel of latitude 35 degrees north.